What about swimming? Hmm. With her mates, maybe, but I don't think she'd want to be seen dead with you and Arthur. She used to love the summer holidays. Now she's trying to avoid me. Yeah, but she's a 14-year-old girl, isn't she? Nothing to do with your condition. I'm sure the fact that her dad needs a... Minder doesn't help. Well, why don't you take her into town? Give her a pizza or something. Buy her a dress for that party she's been going on about. Bribery. Always works. Oh! Up before I've even gone to work. Wonders will never cease. Do you fancy a spot of shopping with Arthur today? Gabby? Hang on, look at me. What? You've got a lot of foundation on, love. What have you done that on? Um, I hurt myself the stables yesterday. This crazy horse slammed me against oh. the stable door. What horse? That sounds really dangerous. I didn't even realise you went riding. How, how did he get there? Her Minter's mum. She felt sorry for me stuck in this dump. Can I go see Liv now? Yeah, OK. Tell us where you're going in future, though. Take your time. I've been waiting outside ages. My phone was dead. Really bothered about what happened to me then? Yeah, of course I am. Victoria do that. Yeah. Smashed me against a wall. She was proper freaking. She didn't see me there. I made sure of that. Quick kick and I was out of there. So how'd you explain him then? Horse did it. Right. And now you've got to help me burn my clothes. But it'll be all over the news soon. Heard the police are putting up a million pound reward. Yeah, you're really funny. Like when you ran off and left me, that was really joke. That was your idea. I told you it was stupid. Yeah, and trashing your pedo dad's house wasn't. You know what? Just do it on your own. Oh, Victoria. Why didn't you text us last night? Because you were stressed enough as it is with Andy. And Vic didn't want to go over all the details again. You call the police, that's the main thing. What have we done to deserve this? As if Andy getting arrested wasn't enough. Adam, hang on it. Here. Sounds like Victoria could do with a treat. Oh, hi, Dad. <laughs> uh, I have the usual, please, Rodney. It's on Priya. She's in a good mood for some reason. There you go. Tell her I'm sorry and we're all thinking about it. Cheers. Oh, we got burgled last night. She chased them off, though. Little Victoria. Give them the right pasting, apparently. Seriously? Yeah, by some girl. Bit pinned her up against the wall, ripped the top, that's all, but didn't see her face before she scarpered, so... Still, she's been incredibly brave to react so quickly. Thing is, after the van was robbed, she thinks it's personal, you know? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Just haven't got a clue how to make it better, though. Yeah. See you later. You're off somewhere? Just a uh, sleepover with Araminta. I told you ages ago. What, why do you need the... Uh... Matches? Yeah. Um, we're having a barbie. Her mum's run out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you can't take that. It's ripped. No, it's fine. Unless, uh, let me see. Um, maybe I can still use a needle and thread. Uh, OK. I, I just need the box, uh, you know, the big... Um... A Laurel sewing kit? Yes. Yeah, it's under here. I hope this isn't new. No, it's ancient. I've had it years. Well, Sam, I can't imagine what you were doing with it. Look, if you're going to stress, I'm going to go round my mates. Arabella's. No, Araminta's. She hates that. Mm. The one uh, you went riding with. Only your hat was here. Well, in the pirate ship. Arthur was playing with it. They shouldn't be nicking my stuff. That isn't the issue. I might have dementia, but I can tell when you're lying to me. OK, I forgot the stupid helmet, which is why I had to do mucking out instead, which is when the horse got me. And that's how I tore my hoodie on a nail. Gabby? Are you going to have a go as well? Oh, thank goodness you're here. Gabby's ripped her top, and I'm making a right pig's ear of it. The thief? It was you, wasn't it? I wasn't robbing, I was borrowing. Victoria totally got the wrong idea. Did, did you ask if you're borrowing something? You don't break into someone's house. So, is there anything else in here? Hey, is your granddad's pension in here? 
pension? Yeah, it vanished. He thought he'd lost it. You mean Gabby st No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't, would you? Look, don't act so surprised. Oh, what do you expect on, to do on. as my role model? What? Well, you with your dodgy wiring and all Mum cares about as herself. Your Mum is trying very hard in... Lawrence was going to adopt me and now he's gone nuts. Gabby! And you keep doing that. What? Pretending everything's OK when actually you're an alky stress head. You think I'm bad? What's your baby going to be like? No! No! No, you're not doing this. You're not blaming us. You, you've got no right. We, 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 we've made endless excuses, put up with your rudeness and... If you want to be a vile little thief, that's your choice. But okay. you will, Ashley, madam. You, you will. Down. Just you will apologise to Victoria. Ashley, no, calm no, down. no. Out, out now, out now. <sighs> oh, where did you spring from? Chaz, let us in. Go on, tell her. No, you can't boss me around. I'm not five years old. It was Gabby in your house. No, ignore him. He's getting muddled again. Um, OK. <sighs> then how'd you get them marks? Oh, for pity's sake, have the good grace to admit it. You're a horse, like I've told him a hundred times. Look, come on, Dad, it's really embarrassing. Uh, come back here, right now, Gabby! What happened? She denied it. She stood there and she refused to... Apologise. Yeah, cos you totally humiliated me. Right, go to your room now, Gabby. Go on. What? You mean this skanky hovel that used to be my room before you slagged off with Marlon? Oh, yes, cos this is all about you, isn't it? It's all about Gabby. Poor, hard done by, spoilt little Gabby. Hit me then, like you did to Grandad. You really are disgusting. You want me here? Just what you get? No, you don't. No, no, you don't. You will. You... Say sorry to Laurel, or, 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 or I'll phone the police. Because I called her a slag. Doubt it. No, because you stole from Victoria. Oh, you've remembered. Well done. Oh, let's just all cool it, OK, for a little bit, yeah? No, you, you will stop this. Down. You will stop this right now. Go on, then. Tell him your daughter's a criminal and you can't cope. I can cope, all right. I can cope. I, I'm, I'm teaching you. you. I can teaching you that, 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 that actions of consequences. If you can dial the number. What is it, Dad? Come on. Leave it. 911 uh, 111 Will you just leave oh, wait, him no. alone? That's his pin number. No, Ashley, don't. No, no, don't no, call no, me. Please no. don't call Mine's me. Mine's a large pepperoni. Just... Police! Yeah. It's, it's, it's Ashley Thomas. No, no, no. About, about that, about the burglary keepers, because it's Emmerdale. I have, I have information. It was my daughter, Gabby Thomas.